No, J Dubs has not tried to contact me yet. Do we really think he will? I don't. I wish he would, but I don't think he will. Well, I don't take him too serious. I just don't like him running his mouth, Nate. He shouldn't run his mouth on something that he don't know about. All he knows is what Stinky tells him. Well, Stinky's been telling him lies all along. You know, J-Dubs, if you're seeing this this morning, ask Vaughn Hilton what he did with that $50 you gave him. In the will, it says he will receive two fifty a month as long as the money is there. And I think with having the properties and they're all rented and people are paying their rent, that they could take that two fifty from one of the accounts that someone's paying. Like my rent. When I pay my rent every month, they can take that two fifty off my rent money and give it to him. But then they still got another six hundred dollars coming in from the other two properties. But if Vaughn Hilton ain't in there, there's another three hundred. If we can rent Miss Alice's house out, personally, I think they can get six, seven hundred a month for Alice's house. They've been giving him a check now. Yeah, his light bills have been over the two fifty, and that's what I'm complaining about too. I mean, I don't understand how his light bills are over two hundred and fifty dollars. When I have not shut my air conditioner off all summer long, my TV only goes off maybe two hours a week, and my bill was only 158, 169. All my bills have been in the 150s and 60s. His are cracking the 250, $300 markers. I don't think no one's, pay honestly, I don't know if anyone's paying the differences or not. That he might be just giving them 250 the whole 250 a month just to keep the lights on yeah sooner or later they'll get tired of it turn it off because he has never caught up and they'll make him pay for the whole bill yeah he's todd come on now he don't claim anything anything so and vaughn's gods are trolling him anyway so it don't matter what vaughn says his gods ain't been doing much of anything i mean look his gods let his mom pass on, the gods let his wife leave him, the gods let his children get took care of, the gods let him lose all his money and properties and everything. His gods doing an awful lot for him, ain't they? Looks like they're against him instead of for him. To me, that's all bad. I don't know about if that sounds good or bad to you guys. To me, that sounds bad when you're losing all them people and you're losing everything. My God don't do that. My God's made sure there's a roof over my head and food in my mouth. My wife is still here after 20 years, James Vaughn Hilton. 20 years. If he would swing at the sheriff, that'd be the last time he's seen daylight for a very long time down here. He did not pass that. Remember, he yelled and screamed. He wanted to take the test again. He's already scanned. Well, he got him for 100. And I know Solar Marshall was sending 30 pound bags or something like that twice, twice to him. And then the, plus shipping and handling, I mean, he probably threw him $150, $200 himself. Vivon is the blood heir. It don't matter. In the will, the will is what happens. If there was no will at all, you, you're right. The blood heir would take over it all. But because there is a will, the blood error gets what the will says. Toby, I think the lawyers and judges are already watching all of Vaughn Hilton's movies. I've told them, grab your pop or a beer, your popcorn, some kind of snack, get on your computer and punch in his name on YouTube or pretty close to on any one of the channels and you can see Vaughn Hilton. You can watch them. Nick, I cannot talk about that. You guys can, I cannot. My mouth has to stay shut on all that. I have to respect the court systems right now. Y'all know I found her on the floor a year before that, where the cameras did catch her falling, where I did hear a thump. And I called James's house and told him, go over there and check on your mom because I heard a thump on the camera. 
So he went over there. He went in the house. And as soon as he walked in the door, the phone rang, and it's me. He picks up the phone. Hello. And I was like, where's your mother? See what she's doing. Let me know what's going on. Larry, she's laying on the floor, and I can't pick her up. He hung the phone up and walked out the door. I called the ambulance, or I called the fireman. The fireman went down there, and by the time the fire, as soon as I got done hanging up with the fireman telling him to go down there, I went outside, jumped in my vehicle, and I drove there. When I got there, she was still laying on the floor. The fireman just got there just as I did. We went in there and we picked her up, set her in her chair. I showed her two fingers. She could not tell me that I was showing her two fingers. So I told Ron to call me an ambulance. He is a fireman, so he has a radio on his hip. And he called for an ambulance for me. Because he lived right next door and he said he could take care of her. And they asked me what I thought. I says, well, it ain't hard to make sure she takes her pills every day and to throw her dinner together. As long as, and I told him, as long as he's not taking care of her finances, I think he should be okay. But I didn't know he was that bad. I really didn't, people. Because if so, I would have fought truth the nails. I would have literally gave him eviction notice and I would have moved into that trailer. He could have come over here to where I'm at or he could have moved into one of the other places. I would have moved next door to her if I knew it was that bad, because I sure would have loved to live right there. I would have loved to live next door to her. She would have never seen a TV dinner one, not one. She would have had a hot breakfast, hot lunch, hot dinner every single day. Well, yeah, now I do know it was that bad, Frank. I really didn't know it was that bad when we went to the court systems. I knew it was bad that he wasn't paying her bills. I did find out that he didn't have no idea of what time day pills and night pills were supposed to be given to somebody. He thinks they're supposed to be four hours apart. I didn't know he was stupid enough that he thought the doctors are supposed to make doctor's appointments and not the patient's. And not all of us knew all about him, Frank. Uncle Jim knew more about him than any of us because Uncle Jim hung with Aunt Alice. Uncle Little Jim's been part of Aunt Alice's life since Uncle Jim was born. I mean, that's one of her little nephews. That's her oldest brother's kid. I didn't know much Miss Alice that real well, people. I mean, I've only been part of her life for about 15 years now. And... Two of them was at a family reunion, and that's the only time I come over and help with that pond for a week. And then, you know, she, Irvy got her to think that Uncle Jim was ripping her off and that Uncle Jim was doing this and Uncle Jim was a bad guy. So she literally said, okay. Well, she didn't say. Uncle Little Jim got so mad that he quit his power of attorney and told her, here, you take care of it because I can't control your son. He won't listen to me. He won't do what he's told. He thinks he owns it all. I can't deal with him if you're not going to let me take care of him. So Jim let go of the power of attorney. So now Alice is controlling it all by herself. She asked Ronnie and Marsha for a little help. Ronnie and Marsha signed, helped her write out her checks had her sign her checks and sent the bills in. Well, then that's when James starts running his mouth on Ronnie and Marcia. Okay, well, Ronnie and Marcia got tired of it. The fireman tried to help her. Or wait a minute. Yeah, the fireman tried to help her. James says the fireman was ripping her off. I went in there and helped her. And she says that she wanted Irvy to take it. Irvy conned her into saying that he had this degree and he can do all this and he can do all that. He did all this and that. He literally conned his mother into telling me to let my son take over. And I let him take over. I handed him the bank books. I handed him everything that I had and let him write the check. Within five months, a 90-year-old woman called me and said, Larry, I don't know what I'm going to do. My phone has now got a shutoff notice. It has not been paid in three months. My AARP has been shut off because he said I didn't need it. So I literally took her to Social Security. We stopped her checks from going to the his his bank account and we had to collect one of them from the bank that the bank refused to cash 
told Alice that she would have to come and pick it up herself. And Miss Alice went and got it and cashed it and went and paid her property taxes that year. That was the, you know, time to pay her property taxes. So there went her whole check almost. So me personally, I went ahead and borrowed money from somebody to cover the rest of Alice's bills. The following month, I gave them half the money that we owed them. The following month, Miss Alice paid them off. So now her checks and her money is all good again. She's now back out of the hole. Two months later, the state of Kentucky, city of Manchester, gave me power of attorney to control all Alice's assets, the money, the property. Ron Hilton was given the power of medical to make sure she's taking her pills every day and that she's eating every day. She, like, I say it now and I'll say it for the rest of my life. She gave that kid the gold spoon. Vaughn Hilton grew up with the gold spoon, people. He was the only kid in the house. Mommy and daddy spoiled him rotten. He didn't have to do nothing that he didn't want to do. So he got to do whatever he wanted. I mean, both parents are gone to work. He grew, raised himself. Well, that's when we were already in the court's house for it, Frank. We were in the courthouse for it. But they figure because Vaughn was living right next door that he could at least make her food for her and make sure she had her meds. I was, I was fighting for full power of all. I wanted the medical too because personally, I think the medical is what I wanted to make sure I had the most because I, me and my wife, was the one taking Miss Alice to that doctor's every three months. Me and the wife are the ones that made sure she got her meds sent to her house every single month. Me and the wife's the one that was going to get in all the food. We bought the food and took it to the house. All Vaughn had to do is go in the freezer, put it in the freezer, warm it up, give it to his mom, and then he could leave. But most of the time, he made his mom get up and get it herself. He says he cut her food. I don't, I don't really say he cut her food. Miss Alice don't really eat a lot unless it's sweet. And Dinky only had to make sure she had lunch and dinner. He never worried. He never made her no breakfasts. People, she literally made her own breakfasts. She really did. All the way until three days before this accident, she was still cooking her eggs in the morning. The camera in the kitchen was set at the stove. I could see the stove. I could see the refrigerator. I could see the front door. I could see her TV. I could see her chair. Yeah, he could have been taking food out. Well, like I said, there was one time that we bought a few TV dinners to take her until, you know, you know, we'll, we'll try to stock up on hers too when I can. And one day I bought her enough to go two weeks. And three days later, he got back on the camera, looked at the camera and said she was out of food and I couldn't understand how. When here I almost got her two weeks worth of food and it's gone in three days. But breakfasts, people, I took care of them. Them were usually eggs, bananas, or her favorite thing in the world, the chocolate donut. Like I said, Vaughn, you can keep running your name on me or keep talking shit about me. I have no control of nothing that happens to you. You now deal with the court systems of Manchester, Kentucky. You now deal with the state lawyer of Alice Hilton's estate, Manchester, Kentucky. That dare shirt, I think, is just about ready to hit the 100 day mark. I think his top is 100. Six. So, is the dare shirt going to pass the 106 mark? Yeah, thank you, Toby. You're right. Vaughn wears a shirt and never takes it off. Oh, <laughs> Dan, that would be called work. Him with the shovel in his hand is called work. He would not do that. Uh, we, we are a family who's trying to get an old man homeless. Well, that old man is the exact same age as me. That old man stole over $30,000 from his mom. He is now trying to steal his his kids' estate. He's trying to steal his kids' money. You just don't know their damper. But they will take your kids away if they walk in and there's dishes all filling the sink up with maggots crawling all over it. Let me repeat, he did not pass his pedophile test. He said that on his own video. That automatically is keeping him from having his kids coming back home. And then that's it right there, handyman. That That is his biggest 
problem. His internet is way more important than his mother, his wife, even his children. He'd rather get on there and do live videos with J-Dubs for three, four, five, six, eight hours, playing with horse vaginas, playing his games or whatever, instead of being part of his family's life. I don't, Handy Man. I don't believe one word he says to anybody, to anything about anything. I mean, he does have a point that when your parents die, you get everything, especially when you're the only child, you get everything. If you got brothers and sisters, you got to split it with them. News for the world. When you die, you can't take the money with you. Von Hill and would have got everything. But he got with the Andrea. He pregnized her three times or twice. One daughter and a set of twins. And they all got everything. And I agree with that too, Billy Ray. He used Andrea. He knew she was slow. And he took advantage of that. Oh, he told her he had a horse farm and everything, people. She literally thought she was going to be living in the country wild west horses and cows and the whole big farm animals she got down there there wasn't nothing dogs and the mom not liking him bringing her there because she he never let her know yeah he does have a mental illness not just him dipper his wife did too as he called him he says that all his troves turn him in for everything and this that and everything Vaughn puts everything on himself. Vaughn wants to know how these trolls know about Andrea. They want to know how we know about his military records. We, he wants to know how we know about CSB. How do we know about all this? He posts it out there. And then he cries when we call him on it. Yeah, he started the battle with the Frost when he started saying Jim stowed. Well, it started with two million, then it went to four million, then it went to 10 million. I think he's up in the 25 million. He does say the internet trolls have messed his life up. They've been following him for 15 years. I'm not gonna lie, over 15 years now. But all we're doing is we're calling him out on his lies. That's what we're doing. Do you know he's a Cold War vet, vet. Do you know he worked for the government? He's an army vet. He did nine months in the army, but he's a vet. I can fill you in a lot of things, Dipper. He saved 20 women in Texas from their pimps. Yeah, he, he made the bomber in high school. This man started, uh, what was it? Rap music or hip hop, or he started some kind of music. He was the first one in the Space Force, yep. He literally puts his whole life on the computer and he didn't worry about his family. He didn't care about his wife. He didn't care about his kids. He don't care about his mom. The only thing he cares about is that internet and who he can scam out of money.